Hello everyone, welcome back again with us at Military TV. In this episode, we're going to talk about stealthy long-range cruise missiles from Russia with incredible accuracy, the KH-101 and KH-102. Russia's KH-101-102 cruise missiles are descendants of the Soviet-era KH-55 missile. The KH-101 is the NATO designation for the missile carrying conventional warheads. It was first tested in 1995. The KH-101, KH-102 Raduga is a relatively new line of conventional and nuclear capable air launched cruise missiles ALCM, developed and deployed by Russia. This stealthy missile is designed to defeat air defense systems by flying at low terrain hugging altitudes to avoid radar systems. The KH-101 carries a conventional warhead, while the KH-102 is believed to carry a 250 kiloton nuclear payload. In this video, we'd like to discuss this stealthy missile in three parts. They are development, specifications, and service history. So let's jump into it. Before watching this video, don't forget to leave your comment below if you have any suggestions or certain topics to discuss for the next videos. Part 1 – The Development of KH-101-102 The KH-101-102 was developed as a long-range standoff cruise missile to replace the aging KH-55 and KH-555 ALCMs. It travels on a low-altitude flight path beneath infrared and radar systems, and its use of radar-absorbing composite materials makes the missile challenging to detect. Its accuracy is also believed to be quite high employing the electronic GLONASS satellite navigation and TV terminal guidance. Soviet engineers began designing the KH-101-102 in the late 1980s, and full-scale development likely began in 1995. The KH-102 achieved initial operating capability in August 2003 and entered service in 2012. Part 2 – The Specifications of KH-101, KH-102 We will talk a lot about it because it is the important part of the missile. The stealthy airborne KH-101 developed by the Raduga Design Bureau has a length of 7.4 meters, more than 24.4 feet, with a maximum launch weight of 2,400 kilograms, 5,300 pounds. The missile carries a 400 kilogram, 880 pound warhead. Its variation, known as the KH-102, carries a 450 kiloton nuclear warhead and is fired without a booster using the launching aircraft's momentum at release to give it initial velocity. The missile uses a TRDD-50A turbofan engine, giving it a cruising speed of Mach 0.58 and a maximum speed of Mach 0.785. The range of the KH-101-102 is reported to be between 2,500 km and 2,800 km. Although unconfirmed reports by the Russian Ministry of Defense claim its maximum range is 4,500 km. Capable of flying at treetop levels around 30 to 60 meters, the missile cruises at an altitude around 6,000 meters. It has an estimated flight endurance around 10 hours. Some sources even say that the maximum range is up to 10,000 kilometers. The long range enables it to strike targets deep inside the enemy territories without threat to the launch platform. The bombers do not have to penetrate enemy airspace to any great extent. They can launch cruise missiles from standoff distances. The missile has a low altitude flight profile, traveling at 100 to 230 feet above the ground. The KH-101 uses GLONASS, the Russian satellite navigation system, for trajectory correction and is reported to have an accuracy of 5 to 6 meters. The missile has a combined homing system, inertial navigation, optoelectronic adjustment, and other features. The maximum deviation from the target, regardless of the distance, is no greater than 5 to 7 meters. The missile's guidance system has been upgraded. It is capable of receiving comprehensive information about the route and the target's coordinates. In contrast to the previous generation missiles, it is retargetable. Certain control points on the route and the targets it can hit are included in the program. A different target can be selected during the combat mission. 
Control and guidance systems are equipped with optoelectronic system's correction trajectory with a television guidance system at the final stage, Octopus. The missile is equipped with an inertial guidance system using a digital computer, with the correction of the digital reference map of the area correcting flight using data from a laser, optical electronic, the altimeter, or optical image areas. At the final stage of flight, it may be using optical or radar correlation GOS. The missile has a normal aerodynamic scheme with low pull-down after start draining. Wings in transport position folded under the fuselage of the central part of the side of the tail. Aerodynamic control surfaces and rocket motor are provided in the working position at start. The KH-101 is described as having an aerial torpedo configuration, but with swept wings and uses radar-absorbing materials, conformal antennas, and other stealth technologies. The design features an INS guidance and satellite navigation receiver for mid-course guidance, with terminal attack using an image matching system. This high precision allows a conventional warhead, though the KH-102 version has a nuclear warhead. And the last part is about service history. Since entering service in 2012, the Russian Air Force has employed the KH-101 several times in combat operations. Following ISIS terrorist attacks against a Russian Metrojet airliner on October 31, 2015 that killed 249 people, and the November 13, 2015 Paris attack that killed 129 people, Russia launched a series of cruise missile strikes at various ISIS targets in Syria. On November 19 and 20, 2015, after an initial wave of strategic bombers fired cruise missiles at targets in Raqqa and Dair ez Zor provinces, a second wave of Tu-95 Bear and Tu-160 Blackjack strategic bombers launched cruise missiles at ISIS targets in the provinces of Aleppo and Idlib. On July 5, 2017, Russia again employed the KH-101 against ISIS targets in Syria. Russian Tu-95 long-range strategic bombers fired several of the missiles to destroy three ISIS ammunition depots and a command facility near the town of Akerbat on the border of the Syrian provinces of Homs and Hama. The missiles flew 1,000 kilometers before reaching their targets. ISIS militants were once more the target of several Russian KH-101 missiles on September 26, 2017. Tu-95 MS bombers flew 7,000 kilometers from Ingalls Airfield in southern Russia through Iraqi and Iranian airspace before firing an unknown number of KH-101s. The Russian Ministry of Defense claimed the strike succeeded in destroying ISIS command post and ammunition depot. So, the Raduga specifications make it a very unique weapon. Nobody, even the United States, has an analog. U.S. aircraft are currently equipped noticeably more poorly. The operational range of the Russian KH-101 exceeds any American analogs more than twice over. The combination of a strategic bomber and the highly accurate battle-tested missile with such a great range gives Russia the capability to strike any target in the world on short notice. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.